What's going on YouTube? It's your boy you know Vaz. We're back with another Division 2 video, man. This one is a little different. This is not going to take too long. First and foremost, I just want to thank everybody that's been rocking out. If you're watching this video right now, you can head over to Twitch. We're live. We're currently live on Twitch right now. Come check us out. Rocking out. You know, we have played State of the Game on Saturdays now. We bring in the show back today. It's episode 70. Play State of the Game every Saturday at 12 noon. We're going to be rocking out, man. So I hope to catch you guys there in the streams going forward, okay? So here's how we going, man. Here's how we rocking. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about today. And I, I, I kind of want to uh, emphasize that right now, we're finally getting a gear set, right? We're finally getting a gear set that is worth running. You know, we have a lot of gear sets now that I don't really feel like they packed that punch. Um, and, and I think if you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, um, I don't really use skill gear sets. I know people love rigor, but for me, I think the best gear sets right now are Hunter's Fury and then you have True Patriot, right? And, and, and even in those two, sometimes you can see that it can be underwhelming or not as great as other builds. And that to me, I think, I don't know, green gear shouldn't have always been the best. I get it's not the best. It's a set, but it should definitely have, uh, overpowering brand set bonuses like you know if you put them on and if you decide to go all out and rock four pieces let's not even mention striker right if you decide to rock all four pieces it should definitely give you something that's worth the punch right so today we're going to break down the heartbreaker gear set to me to me this is my humble opinion i do believe that the heartbreaker gear set will be the best gear set in the game you guys tell me if i'm wrong be like, Bob, you're stupid. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. But let's talk about it for a second. So for once, they're finally giving us a gear set that once you put on two pieces, we're going to get 15% assault rifle damage and 15% LMG damage. Um, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that just says, hey, listen, LMGs are back. If you don't agree with me, shields are done. LMGs are back. AR is back. We're getting back to shooting. We're getting back to beaming. It's just going to be a different kind of game. Now, three three sets, right? <clears throat> Which means three pieces will give you 15% weapon handling. I don't know any set in the game that's even given out any sort of weapon handling at all. I, this might be the first one. I could be wrong. So we're getting 15% weapon handling. And then on the fourth step, which is the fourth piece, um, is going to be heart stopper. So headshots apply pulse of five seconds. And I think that's the emphasis that they're going forward with for T15 because... A lot of the stuff they're dropping are spotter, you know, pulse this, pulse that, spotter this, spotter that, amplified damage this for pulse enemies, and this, that, and the third. This is all geared towards you guys using these weapons and using these different ideas to rock with Heartbreaker. They want us to use this. And they made it so that it was worth being used. Because you got to look at weapons, hits on pulse enemies, add and refreshes a stack of one bonus armor plus one bonus armor and plus one damage to pulse enemies for five seconds so you can stack this up and i don't even it, i don't even think this has a cooldown so i think as long as you're shooting you're gonna it's, you, you be dealing with bonus armor and we're gonna be dealing with damage to the pulse enemies for five seconds and it could keep stacking so if you shoot a full clip into that one enemy, let's say it's an NPC or it's a it's a player, that's fucking that's plus fifty percent damage. You know, so like I'm just I'm my mind is blown. I'm blown. I don't know how this is just not the best gear set in the game, off the rip. And you know, I have so many ideas in my mind of how how many OP builds I can make just off of this one gear set. Just off of the gear set. Mm mm mm. Uh, and then, you know, you got the full stack, which is, uh, if you want to rock the chest piece, that raises the stack from 50 to 100. And if you rock the backpack, instead of plus 1%, you'll get plus 2%, which makes sense. Because now, if I don't want to rock the chest piece, I can rock the backpack, and I can still get the 100 stack. Or if I don't want to rock the backpack, I can get the 100 stack from the chest piece. So they made it so you can go either way. But I would say this, it makes no sense to rock both. I don't think I would rock both. I don't think I would rock the chest and the back. I'm looking at the stacks like, all right, you get a, a hundred, you get a hundred on the chest, and then you get the plus two, when you can just rock a chest piece talent like Perfect Spotter, you know, or you might not want to go with the backpack and you might want to rock Vigilance, 
You know what I'm saying? There's so many different ways you can do it. Or you can go with the exotic mask, the catharsis, and mix that. You can go catharsis mask. You can go spotter, perfect spotter chest piece. You can go backpack, gloves, holster, knees, heartbreaker, and you got another bit. So there's, there's just so many different ways you could you could chef this up and then maybe put some crit chance mods around the build and things of that sort because we all know uh, green gear doesn't come with, you know, an extra mod slot, right? But hey, that, it just is what it is. But I'm telling you right now, I am freaking loving the heartbreak. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay? Period. Now, before the video ends, I definitely want to talk about this gear brand set. You know, we're going to get uh, <laughs> we're gonna get a gear set, and this is not green gear, but, you know, this is going to be uh, gold pieces that's going to give. It's called the, I think it's Uzina or Uzina Getica. I probably I probably botched that, and if I did, I'm sorry. Uh, but it gives you 5% armor, 10% armor on kill, and hazard protection. All three things are useful, you know? Because now you don't have to rock the whole thing. Maybe you just want 5% armor. But, you know, I would prefer that hazard protection being the second versus armor on kill. Because we don't really need armor on kill. But that's usually how they get you. So you can rock all three pieces. If they make the first two spicy and the third one you don't really need, then no one's going to rock three pieces. So they really want you to use all three to get that 10% hazard protection, which might be worth it. But for me, I'll probably just rock one piece with the 5% armor. And, you know, just kind of chef things around. If I, I, You really don't need armor on kill in any situation. Um, armor on kill builds are cool, but there's so many other builds that's better than that. But, yeah, man, that's that's my thoughts on the video today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, just hit that thumbs up button for your boy. Share the video. Like, comment. You know, let me know your comments down below. Uh, like I said, if you're watching this video right now, we're probably live over on Twitch. So come check us out. You know the vibes of all platforms, all socials, okay? Um, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.